Upright in three words. Upright in three words. Funny. Funny. Sad. It's very it's sad. Pretty sad. Uh, rollicking. Rollicking. <laughs> it's a rollicking comedy a, drama. Yeah. Hello, I'm Tim Minchin. And I'm Millie Alcock. And we're from the TV show Upright. But it's my piano. Are you kidding me? You're called... Meg. I'm called... D- lucky. And we drive across Australia with a piano on the back of a ute. Look at the road. Look at the freaking road! I could relate to Meg. Our circumstances were completely different, but I think that the emotional roller coaster that she went through and all of the big life events that happened, I could relate to. I'm sorry that I lied about mom. Damn it! I could relate a lot to Lucky, but obviously in telly it's all heightened. You've got a desert and a piano and yeah. you've got bikers and death and car crashes. But the thing that the characters are going through is still just human stuff. And that stuff like needing to be home and needing to be with your loved ones. Hi, Mom. There were some pretty weird little towns we filmed at. Do you like football? <laughs> the most iconic place we shot in was a two-up shed yep. that's a hundred and something years old. And on the day we were shooting there, this massive tropical storm yep, came huge. in and flooded the whole thing. And then it like dried. Do you remember that? Like yeah. it flooded and we were like, we're gonna have to like reschedule, reshoot, and it, everything just completely dried. I think that was like because the hours. crew dried it. Did they? <laughs> I think it's unturnoffable for lots of reasons. For Millie Alcock's amazing performance. Thanks. The journey of the characters across the desert is one thing, but in parallel is all these flashbacks and reveals. So it takes you all eight episodes to really discover who they are and what they want. Smile, hold your guitar up. It really is the most genuine piece of Australian TV that I've seen, and I can say that very openly. Once you get into it, it's very hard to stop watching. So it's an unfolding psychological mystery as well as a big adventure through the desert. And that's why Upright is (laughs) unturnoffable. It's a word. It's a genuine word. word. I'm Tim Minchin. I'm uh, a writer, executive producer, composer, and uh, one of the two stars of Upright. Is an idea about a guy who has to get a piano from Sydney to Perth and has a run-in with this little... What are you doing, you dick brain? Sweary. Oi! Fuck features! Belligerent. How old are you? I'm 16, mate. It's not your fucking business. Superhero of a kid. Oh, fuck. Ah. Oh, fuck. Ow. I got no reception. You're going to have to drive it, so try not to crash it. But my piano. Are you kidding me? What's your name? Meg. Is that short for Megan or? No, it's short for Steve. You got eyes. The premise is immediately engaging because the idea of a musical instrument of something that is meant to be sacred. It's yours anyway, it always was. Since the day we moved in here and you walked up to it and you put your finger on it. I know the story, Mum. The idea that the piano is a cross he's bearing (laughs) for his sins across the desert. I mean, it's, it's, it's epic. The creative team, Kate and Leon and me and Chris, as a group of voices, we have a combination of heart and comedy. No! They've got my wallet! How do you know? No! Have you got her wallet? Fuck. Fuck! That is something we all go for all the time, but that is rare. Meg! Meg! I swear. There's never been a character this big for a young woman on Australian television. She has to be funny and gutsy and and resilient and vulnerable. And Millie's intuition of who Meg is and what she needs and how she goes about getting it is profound. Want to live? To 
find a story that allows you to be chased by bikers and drunk dancing adults in sand dunes and funny sitcom dialogue in a ute. <laughs> and then huge sweeping desert shots and people almost dying and this slow reveal of our two protagonists' backstories, the slow dropping away of their armour. When someone finds a backdrop for a story like that, um, people who work in TV and film know it, they can smell it. Play something. No. It's a funeral. There oh. should be music to celebrate his life. If you will let me. <clears throat> it's the story of someone who mucked up and can't get over where he went wrong. Try again. He has to go home to see his mum before she dies. If they would let me trade. And has to take this piano with him. I'd give a year for half a day, just curled up on the sofa with you. It's about family and what home is and what happens if you isolate yourself from your people. I know that I will carry you wherever I go. I will carry you. I think it's a show with a rare balance between happy and sad and hijinks and stillness and is everything I want to be involved in. Wow, is that a piano? Yeah, it's a piano. Ah, do you play? No. I mean, not at night. Not at, in hospitals. Yeah, no. I no, I didn't. Didn't mean here, just but in general. Yeah. Do you... Like, no, yes. No, no good. not. Okay. Good night, thanks. What? It's a ute. And you're gonna have to drive it, so try not to crash it. Meg is such a huge character, and I feel kind of a responsibility to do a really good job. What's your name? Meg. They're really cool to watch because they quite clearly don't want to need each other, but they quite clearly do need yeah. each other. I'm going to Perth too. Oh, okay. no. You, you're a, you're a nightmare. We always said whoever plays Meg will be the star of the show. We saw a lot of people around Australia and it was unanimous. When we saw Millie, we said we found Meg. She is like a, a superhero. She's got um, grit. And you know there's some damage under there somewhere, but it all manifests itself as attitude. She has to be funny and gutsy and sad and broken and belligerent and resilient and vulnerable. She just gobbles up those dramatic moments and I don't even know how a, a teenage girl has that emotional depth. I hate him for what he did. I People are going to watch it because of you, but they're going to stay because of me. <laughs> what are you doing, dick brain? How old are you? 16, mate. It's not your fucking business. Oh, fuck. Ah! Oh, fuck. Ow. And you're going to have to drive it. But my piano. Are you kidding me? What's your name? Meg. Is that short for Megan or? Nah, it's short for Steve. Yeah! Oh, you fucking fell asleep! Come back! Stop! <laughs> What'd you got there? That's piano, eh? It's a coffin. Play something. No. It, it's a funeral. There oh. should be music. If they would let me I am going home to see my family for the first time in years. I'd give a year for and the prospect was giving me panic attacks. Curled up on the sofa with you. I'm a very grown adult man. I'm doing the rules. <laughs> Legally allowed to drive. <laughs>